we've got the golds versus the silvers now. Um, I honestly have no clue who's going to win this, bro. Because silvers just do things that are, like, unexpected. And golds, gold players are either, like, it depends on, like, the player, right? They're either, like, really, really good. And they just don't play very often. Or they're just terrible. Alright. So, silvers are banning Thatcher. Uh, makes sense. Let's see what the golds got. All right, Twitch. Now that is just, that's just a weird ban. I don't see why you would ever need to ban Twitch in like, I don't know, like Flores maybe, because it's Oregon. And like, you want to stop them from pushing Bunker, but I don't understand Twitch. Mira, Mira makes sense. Next we'll probably see either like, Cade or Valk is my guess. I'd be surprised if we see anything other than Cade or Valk. Probably Valk, just because this is like lower elo. They probably don't know to ban Cade. Never mind. So I stand corrected. They ban Cade. <laughs> Maybe I underestimate them. All right. So with Cade being banned and Mirror being banned, um, doesn't give the the downstairs as big of an advantage. But they're still gonna go there. Generally, like I prefer to go upstairs first. I don't think either is like significantly better than the other. I just prefer upstairs when I'm playing. Um, let's see the lineups here. Okay, so. Their A's decided to switch off to Finca last second, but it's fine because they still have Habana. They're running a bandit for their hard bridge denial. Uh, I want to see what Ella has. I want to see if she has a shotgun or if she just has the SP. And they're running like a, they're potentially running three LMGs here because they could have IQ LMG. Um, they could have Finca and Zoe LMG right now. So I'm interested, interested to see what they're running. All right, so they've already reinforced the wrong freezer wall. The right wall is supposed to be open, not closed. Ten seconds to go. The shield is going here. Um, <laughs> so this just doesn't make any sense. Truthfully, I, I think we're okay. He's got the shield here, but he's got the shield in front of the ADSs. What are the ADSs supposed to do? When the shield's in front of it. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see what the attack's doing. So we've got, look at my stream, which is actually my editor. He's over there. It looks like they're not even doing a back wave. Besides Yana, I guess. Yana is the only one in the back. They actually don't even have the e-box holes opened up. Um, It's probably a good thing for the defenders that they're pushing like more so the front than the back because they do not have the back set up properly whatsoever here. Oh god. Oh, they're doing a quick freezer. They're doing a quick freezer here. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my goodness. The little 3k. You love to see that. And the little 2k, I mean. Oh, Dapper's pushing up. Look at my stream as Dapper. He's just pushing up that LMG. He's letting this sing right now. Oh my goodness. He's gonna get taken out though. Alright, well, he pretty much single-handedly just won on that round. Um, yeah, there, there's the power of the LMGs. Uh, the M762 was the problem, by the way. So maybe, maybe I was capping. Maybe it wasn't a good thing that they pushed the back to the front, huh? Maybe they should have pushed the back. Would have been better for the defenders. I just, I feel like they did not have that set up properly, man. They had the wrong holes in Freezer, the wrong reinforcements, the wrong shield placements. No one was even watching Freezer. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't argue with the fact that these guys aren't silver, bro. That was uh some disorganized plays, I must say. He says we got some both. <laughs> Honestly, that was a little bit more one-sided than I thought it was going to be. Um, to be fair, it's just one round. And, you know, Dapper's able to walk in and just get a little 3k really quickly. So, things could change. Um, but that was really interesting. Take a look at the lineup now. They've got no hard breacher. So, this is actually going to be really good for the defense. Because they're not going to be able to push in. The attack can't push into anywhere, basically. Um... Unless one of them has a hard breach gadget, but even then they're still running bandit. So it's still gonna be pretty difficult. I'm not sure if they've got a hard breach gadget. I think it would be on Buck if it's gonna be on anybody. No, and Buck has flashes. So they have no hard breach gadget on anyone. I just checked. So they're kind of screwed in that regard. Oh my goodness. Comrades going with the spawn peak. There goes their Finca. So there goes two nades and their heals. Oh, and Buck's already picking up a kill. Wow. Okay. So they had a little one-for-one one trade there. Uh, I would definitely say the defense has the upper hands uh, in that trade. Because there's a lot more utility loss in Finca dying than there is with Mozzie dying. Not quite sure. 
what they're doing now. IQ picking up a kill, big window. Everyone's like solo pushing. You notice that? Like no one's, there's no like unified push. All right, Bandit picking up a kill onto Buck. Yana getting a kill now. Where is Yana even at? Trophy. Everyone is so all over the place, bro. Ash is in small tower. You've got Yana in trophy, and then you've got IQ big window. Uh, interesting. This is like this shouldn't be happening. Like the defense should not be down this many kill, uh, this many people right now. Wow, wow. They just all walked in and traded each other. Yana hopped in. Uh, or IQ hopped in as soon as uh, Ash pushed up the stairs. That was smart. Going a little bit quick for the uh, for the gold players. Um, I'm, I don't understand how the defense, the silver players, were losing that many bodies that quickly, considering the fact that the attack had no hard breacher and all they had to do was sit on the site and hold literally one of two entrances, basically. Or I guess it would be one of four. You've got trophy door, white white door, big window, and then the attic window. Um, and they have five people to watch four angles. So, like, I don't understand how they lost that many people so quickly. Especially when they got that spawn peak, man. Defenders, protect your that was rough. Um, okay. So, this time, though, they are going to be rocking a hard breacher. Two, actually. We got Maverick and Ace. So, see how that goes for them. They're bringing out Capkin as well, which is interesting. I'd love to see if they get a Capkin kill. See what my show's setting up here. Reinforcing Attic. The attackers are mostly just yeah, AFK, left. saving their drones, which is smart. Alright, so where are they spawning? Alright, so uh, Maverick has iron sights, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> these are not good iron sights either. Well, actually, hold on. I want them to ADS again. These actually aren't that bad. ADS, come on, Dapper. I'm sure he's about to. Yeah. Yo, these iron sights are actually sick. What the hell? Hold on, I might have to run these for a video. That, that actually is crazy. Okay, hold on. We've already got someone rushing up. Do we not? Yeah, we've already got Buck up in here. Okay, and Yana. Oh my god. He's in a, this Orcs is in a position to get a lot of kills right now. A bomb has been located. Oh yes, Orcs took him out. So now it's just Buck in here. Wait, why do they have Attic open? Okay, so while this is happening, they've now opened up Attic. And they're trying to push that as well. Oryx actually was able to fall off. I don't know how Buck allowed him to fall off. Uh, that shouldn't have happened. Oh, he's, in a, he's in a position to get so many kills. Nah, bro. Nah. He got smoked. Wow. Wait. Never mind. I thought someone was on a flank. Dude, they're just rushing and killing everyone, man. Poor Pineapple. No, 1v3 now. He actually picks up one kill, though. He's gonna get wall banged, isn't he? Oh, he actually down the other. It's a 1v1. This is so winnable. He can prone and shoot his feet. Oh, he doesn't know. He has no idea. Do they not have cans? The rest of them not on cans? Oh, he's in. Cop get trapped. Yes. I, dude, I saw it last second. Okay, but he doesn't know that he's downed. He has no idea that he's downed. Oh my god, bro, he's got to push. He knows one of them just died to a captain trap, but he doesn't know the other guy's down. He just got to make a move. He's 25 seconds left. He died. Boom. Wow. A double captain kill to end it off. He doesn't know where the bomb is, though. Oh god. Okay. So, the Silvers barely managed to win a single round, all due to a single captain trap. That is incredible. Wow. That's just not something you see every day, chat. All right, this is where it's going to get more difficult for the Silvers, though. Because um, now they're on attack. And generally speaking, defense is a little bit more uh, preferred than attack is. It, you're able to win a little bit more consistently on defense, especially when you're playing people that aren't even bringing hard breachers. So um, if they can't win out defense rounds with uh, the attack running no hard breacher, I'm a little bit concerned with how their attacks are going to go here. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, it seems like... Even the golds, though, have been pretty disorganized. Like, there's no, there's no, like, central strat or anything that's been happening. So, it, it could be that, because of that, the defense just ends up suffering. I hate these cams, by the way. These cams are so obvious. If you, if you ever see, like, a wall and, like, the top corner of it is shot out, you don't even have to see the Valkyam. You just automatically know there's a cam there. Because, like, no one does that except for if they're throwing a cam. 
That's why I've always hated those cams. Uh, me starting an MP5, I guess, is fine because they've got a uh, smoke with a shotgun. I would have placed that jammer on the right side of that door. Makes it harder for the attack to get it. They've got no holes here in the wall to big window. They also have no reinforcement there. So if the attack decides to play big window, it's going to be a problem for them. But so far, it looks like they're doing a, a big tower take. And we've got two people roaming right now. Where's the other guy? Okay. So it actually looks like the silvers are slightly more coordinated. They're actually deciding to do full-on big tower push. You see them all kind of busted together a little bit more than you saw the golds on attack. Not quite sure what IQ is doing exactly. Wow, there's nothing even on the wall too. They don't even have a jammer on the wall. They brought mute, but they didn't jam the wall. That doesn't make any sense. Smoke's already going to start wasting smokes. It actually got destroyed. The smoke canister got destroyed by the ace blowing up. Wow. That's funny. So they are now uh, two minutes deep and smoke only has two gas grenades left, which is not good. How is Mozzie one HP though? He's not even going to decide to shoot this. The Lucy. Oh, could be a kill here. Could be an easy kill. Nope. He's going to get that kill. Unfortunate for, for Dapper there. So they've got a lot of roamers still. Wait, oh, he's in sight. Ace is just in sight. I thought, I, honestly, I, I was so shocked that he was in sight. I thought he was team killing. He's just going to plant. He's literally just going to plant. And there's nothing any of them are doing anything about it. Like, Smoke has no idea. He just planted in the sight. He actually got a kill with the gas grenade, though. Nah, they're both stuck in trophy. This nomad can just hold their rotate off. Oh, he missed. They, they both need to just rotate back to site at this point and, like, try to kill this ace. They're in a bad spot. This is, like, an unwinnable position for the golds. As I say that, they get two kills, of course. Why is nomad still not pushed in, bro? Nomad, you gotta get in. There we go. All right. They're defusing. They're defusing. And he's not in the window yet. Oh my God, bro. Defenders win. Dude, how? Listen, from both teams, how are they letting this happen? Defense lets the attack just walk in and plant literally in the site with them. Like they're playing the site and they're planting at the same time. But it doesn't make any sense. And then the, the attack just lets them walk by and, and defuse like that. That's unbelievable. That, those are two things that shouldn't happen. Okay, so lineup wise, they're gonna whip out the capkin. I like it. It worked before. Uh, the attack's gonna be running the Doku B, which is interesting. I like to see what they're gonna do with that. They're rocking the double hard breach again with the ace and the maverick. Um, I don't really know why. Um, because ace or Kate is banned, so if they want to get the hatch, they can easily get it. Um, I mean, I guess it's fine. It's, it's not like a bad thing. So. The golds have actually set the site up properly, at least a little bit properly. Looks like they made a rotate into bunker. Yeah, the shield is way too far up again. I don't understand why they're putting the shield so far up. The rotate's on the wrong side as well. Like Sparky's lagging a little bit. But they're they're setting it up at least better than the silvers were. Uh, and looks like they're going to do a full backside take as well. The, the silvers are going to. This is a match point though. So if the silvers can't pull something out here, uh, they're losing. Whoa, 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 oh, never mind. Wait, he's running Rook shotgun. Oh, Dapper's such a fan. I swear to God. All right, that's uh, Doc already picking up a kill. They're just being aggro on these holes. See, these are the holes that the silvers didn't make. And the golds are just abusing it right now. Gonna get docked up with the health. So they, wow, uh, Dapper just ran out with the Rook shotgun and took ends to literally one health. That's crazy. And he's just going to come back to site and take that damage. The attack is doing like nothing right now. They're, they're all terrified to peek. Look, they're all like looking at each other, like waiting for the other person to do something. This is what you see in low ranks a lot. They'll kind of just like wait for something to happen. Yeah. So this, this looks like a GG so far. The, the attackers are just so scared to do anything. Wow, he actually managed to escape that on 1 HP. So, both of them are 1 HP now. And they have no map control. 
have no nothing it's been a minute and a half yeah and there goes there goes the game flawless round from the golds ggs on map one that's uh didn't go quite how i expected i expected it to be a little bit closer to be honest so props to the golds um let's take a look at the scoreboard here looks like we had uh dapper on top seven and three the rook shotgun menace love to see it we got map two now i feel like chalet doesn't get enough love man i picked chalet i don't know i just i feel like everybody hates on chalet for some reason at least like in the lower ranks so i'm making a play it maybe i'm wrong about that but people i talk to they don't like chalet i love chalet all right so we're starting off with the silvers on defense again getting first taking out thatcher um which is fine and they're gonna run dokeby this time these just look like troll bands, bro. Because, like, I, I don't think they even really played Doke. I, I know one of the teams brought it. I forgot which team brought it, but it was, like, one round. And it, like, didn't have any sort of significance. Um, okay. Cade. Pretty normal. Probably going to see a Mira band now. If not Mira, then probably Valk. No, I am I am not right at all. Smoke. Okay. Uh, that means Mira's going to be in play. Um, which isn't, like, the end of the world. Because this is Chalet. Like, Chalet's not the greatest map for Mira. Um, it's good but it is not the best i don't understand the smoke ban though like <laughs> that is just like a completely random ban for like no reason like the dokubi ban and the smoke ban don't make any sense but okay so yeah they're gonna be running mira as expected so the attack has no hard breacher i'm guessing the buck has no hard breach gadget once again so the the attack has no way to actually open any hatches or breach any walls which is good for the defense Although this was the same story last game on Oregon and the defenders still managed to lose the round and die like instantly. I, I actually don't even know how it's possible that they died so fast. So we'll we'll see how this goes for them this time. But I mean them going downstairs and having no hard breacher ain't no joke. This, this uh specific site is like really difficult to push if you have no hard breacher. So the best bet is to probably just like play vertical. The fuck? They're just now reinforcing main garage. Interesting. They're just now reinforcing mine. Okay, so the attack brings no hard breacher, and then like the defense is reinforcing 10 seconds into the round. So that just doesn't make any sense. What were they all doing? And they're gonna do a, a quick big garage take. That was almost really bad. Like the fact that they took so long to reinforce that is like honestly unacceptable. Nades the door open. That's interesting. Dapper is just deciding to rush in. Oh my god. Pineapple took a bunch of damage to that. He might get naded here. Yep, he just decided not to move and then he got thrown at him. Oh, and they're just rushing straight in. Unbelievable. Force dad just dashes at him. One of them's down. He can just fink himself up. Okay. Decides to rest him instead. Wow. Insane, bro. Insane that that's how this goes. No hard breacher. No way to enter the site besides a single doorway and they still win. Unbelievable. They had no ADSs, no nothing. They just got naded out and they all rushed in. The second they got that pillar guy, they lost because they had no like defense on that door from there. This is such like a, I don't know, this is such a, a difference in what I thought was gonna happen. I thought for sure silvers and golds were a lot closer in skill level than this. So they're gonna stick on the capkin again. They're gonna, wait, they're going shields. I'm guessing Fuse is a shield with this. So they're literally going five shields basically because Osa and Blackbeard technically have one as well. Uh, if if Fuse actually does have a shield. Um, which is interesting. Let's see. Uh, I can't actually tell if he has one yet. I'm just going to assume he does. Um, which, this is actually kind of bad for the defense now. The only thing they have to really deny this, these shields are ends on Capkin. And... I guess Thunderbird with her C4 and then the Thorn Traps. But the Thorn Traps are so inconsistent. It's actually like hard to get kills with them. So this is like low-key not that good for the defense. They're just going to walk in with shields and like bully them is my guess. Although they still have no hard breacher. So if they can just hold literally a crossfire, the simplest thing in the game. One person here, one person here. Hold the crossfire in the back door, they'll be fine. So far, they're just not ready for this. I don't know what Enz is doing. Uh, they're going to rush site, and Enz is going to be nowhere to be seen. Yeah, they're just going to do another back take quickly. The fuse actually does not have a shield. Okay, fair enough. So they're going to be running three guns, two shields. 
Oh, there goes a cavity trap. That that means Fuse just took a lot of HP gone. Uh, very strange Malusi trap. I don't know what that's all about. Dapper looks like he's going to push into the front side. So they might try to do like a little bit of a split take. Oh, Fuse has hard breach gadgets. Forgot about that. Um, Blackbeard just got taken out. But Lucy's upstairs, or, uh, I mean, well, my. He's getting charged down by the Blitz, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Unfortunate. Ooh, nice shot by Enz, though. That taken down, uh, Fuse. So they've got two shields left. Enz is one HP, and, uh, Thorn is full health. They're both in the same spot, though. That was a waste of a C4. This is actually pretty winnable. Enz needs that heal. I don't know why he's not getting healed. They've got a Thunderbird. Okay, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to learn how to spectate because I'm not a, I'm not a fast or anything. It's like hard for me. Okay, there goes Blitz. Blitz is downed. Now it's just up to the Montane. We're going to try to pick him up. They should just take the 20 HP. They shouldn't even try to do anything. Why are they not getting healed, man? Like, Enz is still lit. Um, Why does he not just walk and get healed? They're shields. They're like terrified to get healed. What are they going to do? All right, that's a freebie. Last one's Montane now. Reloaded. This is the easiest round of their lives. Although he can get healed if Montane takes a step to the right. Dude, what is Thorn looking at? What was Thorn looking at at the end there? Oh, they are so lost. Look at Thorn. She's like just aiming out outside of the breach. Oh, this is uh, this is wild. I can't lie to you. This is just something else. Looks like they're gonna stick the shield strap though. They're picking up the Montane and everything again. The Blitz, I fear the Fuse. No Osu this time though. Oh, they switched. They switched off the fuse at the end for thing. It runs off instead of Osa. The defense still doesn't have much to counter this though. They've got frost, so if any of them popping through a window, possibly they'll, they'll get a a little down on that. But they've got one C4 now, so they're gonna have to make those uh, impacts count on. Attackers need to locate and Malusia, I suppose. Oh, I, and I and I guess Alibi. I thought she'd be running a shield, but she actually has impacts. I also want to see where is the attack going to push from this time. Probably just piano is my guess. I'm not quite sure what that frost meant. is like, I guess he's hoping the shield will walk in into it. They're just like very slow to like do anything. Like what is that impact? Don't, don't throw that. Don't throw that. Don't throw that. Don't throw that. Why would you do that? <laughs> like what, what was the point in that bro? <laughs> like there was already a rotate there. Now he's to throw a second alibi. What was the point in that, bro? That's what I mean. There's no offense to them. It's just it's just how it is, you know? They're just like a little bit lost. All right, and all of the attackers are going to be just rushing library, it seems. Oh my god, Blackbeard's already gotten a kill. So there goes Frost. Another one's pushing up. It's Malusi as well. You got a little bit of damage onto uh, Minka. And Blackbeard actually is lit too. I don't know how. I think he got shot by his teammate. Alibi picking up a kill. Very nice. Lucy is still being really aggro. I would just fall back with all these shields. Blackbeard's shield just got destroyed, though. Oh, they're going to heal up with Finca, though. Unfortunate. They might rush on that. Actually, these smoke grenades could work against them if they walk into these frost mats. He walks into this frost mat. He did. He walked straight into the frost mat. And the thorn shot's going to go off and pick him up. Yep, there goes, uh, there goes Blitz now. Wow, what is NZ doing downstairs? He needs to help his team, man. It's like hell in a cell up here, and he's not helping his team at all. All right, it's just Finca now, though. So no more shields. Although this has historically been their best player on the gold side. He's got a C4. Actually, if he blows that, he will almost kill him. Oh. Ooh, he actually almost had that. Let's go. All right. So the Silvers are going to pick up their first round on Chalet. Very nice. I like the uh, the Frost Thorn combo there. That was pretty nice. I don't know if it's intentional or not. Okay. So now we've got the golds on defense. That was the Silvers last. Uh... Oh, actually, I messed up. I said that's not the Silvers first round. That's their second round. So the Silvers are actually taking the lead on Chalet here. The uh, attack is actually going to... The Silvers are actually going to bring hard breach on attack this time, which is nice. They're running two hard breachers. I personally would not pick both. Attackers need to locate uh, thermite and ace, but 
Ella's running the SMG. I always like to see if the Ella players are running the shotgun or not. So we've got lots of drones outside front garage. My guess is that... All right, so one of two things may happen here. What you see in low ranks a lot on Chalet is everybody sits outside the big garage. They open it up and all of them take turns holding the exact same angle until there's 15 seconds left and then they lose because that's literally not how you win this map. Every bad player pushes the bigger or the, the main garage and just sits there and does nothing. It's, it's actually astounding. Like they'll do it over and over and it never works any any time. But they'll just continuously do it. So they, they're either going to do that or they'll do a split take where like Ace or Thermite pushes the backside and Thermite pushes the front. But so far that doesn't seem what they're doing. Who is this spawn peeking? That was really confident, bro. He actually hit him too. I would just go back to the site, bro. They've got lots of roamers right now. They've got a few people spawn picking. Buck actually might kill him here. That was close. They've got a, a Ying shotgun as well. I didn't... Yeah, so, so look. That's exactly what they're doing. They're all outside the big garage right now. They know it's jammed, so they're going to try to open it up from the top. All right, well, there goes Jaeger to a Claymore to run out. They actually might have someone else run out. Yeah, it looks like they're going to have Valk run out as well. He actually might pick up a lot of kills here. They're not expecting this. Yep, there goes Ace. There might refrag, though. D4 going out. Might kill Osa. Osa just is deciding to not shoot it or do anything about this. Yeah, he's done a chat. Was not expecting that. <laughs> Okay, so Ella's watching the back, which is good. They need someone watching the back. They've got me watching blue, which is solid. And then Mira's holding down the front. So they're actually in pretty good spots, the golds are. They're holding everything the way they should be. Ying is going to rush in main stairs. She's got a shotgun, though. She's got to take her gunfights wisely here. Okay. Yeah, this is not good. I, I don't know what the other players are doing on their team. I. Uh, Mira's gonna go connect her and kill her here. Yeah. Now you've got all three of them here. Dude, this is what I'm talking about, man. They all like just wait for each other to do something. No one like knows what to do on their own. Hatch is soft though. This is solid. Okay, he decides to shoot one bullet and then quick peek in the middle of the gunfight, which just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh all right. Two two now. I don't understand what Ying was doing that round, or specifically at the end. You like literally shotgun that dude, and if he shot one or two more shots, which that gun you can spam really fast, he would have killed Mira. But he shot one bullet, stopped shooting for two seconds, and then it was just leaning and then died. So I, I don't know what happened. So taking a look at the scoreboard, we've got uh, NZ on top, five and two for the uh, silver team, and then we've got Isha. I don't know how to I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry if I butchered it. We've got uh, them on top. 4-3. So, Aruni's going to be pulling out the DMR. The DMR is actually fun. So, I can see it. Uh, no hard breacher from the attack. So, we'll see. How, oh, actually, no. Never mind. I didn't, I didn't see Comrade on Ace. My bad. So, we'll see how they push this. The Silvers have actually been pretty good about running a hard breach every time. In fairness. It seems like the Golds are relying more on their mechanical skill. And the... Uh, Silvers are trying to rely more on game sense and such, like actual strats, but they just like lack enough of it to actually know what to do, it seems like. At least in my opinion. Interesting barbed wire. They're all spawn picking again. Yeah, everyone's spawn picking on the, on the defense. Wow. That's what I mean. I think all of the golds are just trying to rely on mechanical skill. And the silvers just maybe don't have that. So far, what I'm seeing is like the difference mainly is mechanical skill. Oh, wow. Instantly refragged though. That claymore took forever to go off. Uh, well, that's our sludge then. I guess Rooney had all her utility down. So I guess I was a better frag in terms of for the defense. Ooh, wow. Jackal just decides to walk into that. Interesting. I see four by uh, off there. To get the refrag done. So 3v3. Two minutes into the round, or one minute into the round, it's a 2v3. A That's actually interesting. The defense has the advantage in terms of HP, though. All right, one's on trophy stairs, right? God, he just swung. 
I'm having trouble figuring out who's who. Okay. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. So minute 30 left and they're just not accomplishing anything on the attack here. They're not even pushing together. Twitch is repelled and pineapple is just nowhere to be found. Under the window droning for him, I suppose. They have no rotating closet. It's actually a bad thing. It looks like they want to push big window, but I mean, to be honest, like, I don't know how they propose to do that when three people are alive on defense. They all just have to watch the one window, like they're going to die. I mean, like they know he's there. They, they even know he's invert repelled. Wow, the trade. All right, so it's a 1v5 now, or 1v2. Uh, he's actually droning up at... Yeah, they just need to get in, man. It take forever to get in. Uh, okay. And what he was even needing there. Dude, he's terrified to push, man. Lack of confidence, man. Lack of confidence. All right, so that's gonna be the gold taken match point once again. Could be the last round. This next round could be, um, with the fact that the the golds are just locking it out like crazy, man. I, I would really like to see if the silvers can win this next round. At least bring it to OT. You know, if they can't bring it to a third map, at least bring it to OT. Make the golds fight for it a little bit, because uh, the golds are really just taking it away here. So the golds are back on defense now. All right, or there's on defense. Looks like Dapper's gonna switch off the Clash for the Ella. Hmm, not a bad lineup from them, I guess. The attackers now have no hard breacher, so this looks like a like just a rush strat. To be honest, it's like just comfort picks. Dapper's giving out their location. Okay, they're not going bar games. <laughs> they're just not there. Um, Orcs is a shotgun. So let's see. I want to see what gun. Vigil's running on his primary. All right, he's running the K1A. I just wanted to see if he was trolling with the Bashi or not. So pretty much the only person trolling with guns is, uh, so, oh, wow. Comrade's picking up the first kill there. Very nice. I don't see like a specific push that they're trying to do yet. Ella's lit up as well. I don't actually know how she got lit up so fast. She didn't get killed though. So still no like push. I, what is this lineup by or this uh attachment lineup by Yang? Oh boy, here we go. All right, so I figured out where they're gonna be holding from. Oh wow, that what a nice nade actually. What a nice nade. Hawk is trying to do the most right now though. NZ is gonna be put to like 30, 40 HP. NZ's bringing the, the M762 as well. Interesting. So, they're not, they've not done anything besides all hold the same angle outside the front door. It's just a battle of who can peek the front door. It looks like Hughes might be sneaking up on uh, Spark, though. He needs to push, man. They, they just need to push, bro. That's the thing. Oh, he's about to run straight into the shotgun. Wow, nice shots. He actually pulled that off. So it's just Sparky now. I'm on me three. Ooh, and he's gonna get taken out. Thank God. The Silvers are gonna bring it to OT for time. Love to see it. So the uh, goals are gonna be on defense still. Um, I would like to see the Silvers do something other than pick a door slash window and just hold it from outside. That's like I'm telling you, it's what it's what all the low ranking players do they just like pick a door and the second they see anybody they don't know what to do so they just like sit there and hold an angle until something else happens and like usually what happens is they just lose the round because they just wasted all their time outside so uh that's the main thing that i'm noticing from the silvers versus the gold so far is the golds actually push okay, in and, and they get stuff off. done they they drone out whichever part they want to drone out and they're in the building in like 20 seconds 
the go are the silvers on the other hand are just outside like forever and i think it goes back to like the difference in confidence uh and in mechanical skill between the golds and the silvers i think so far the silvers just have uh worse mechanical skill than the golds do oh what an angle from a rooney here uh, that's interesting we'll see if this actually works out for them so far they're not even pushing the backside so it probably won't looks like they're going to do exactly what i had just described for a, a third time now they're going to open up the garage and they're all going to hold an angle even the blitz is here to hold an angle what is the reason for blitz being here okay pineapple team kills um looks like their blitz is holding their run out um which is interesting they better rush off this bro they're not going to they, they all just left nz stolen spawn they're like tell me what blitz is is like what what is blitz gonna do here besides just get his hp taken away slowly uh i want to see where fink is at okay fink is definitely gonna get a kill here 100 fink gets a kill yep there it goes and you're having orcs run out as well orcs actually got a kill but thermite will take him out i guess it isn't that bad i just don't ads that he won it he won it how did he win that Oh my god bro you had a you had a 2x and you lost to that okay so like what's what's the play now oh no that c4 gonna be bad blitz is one hp now doc needs to heal mute if he can it looks like that's what he's gonna do where is pineapple like what are you holding pineapple they're both sight he's running from flashbangs that are below him blitz is running in now He's dead. He's already, he's actually planning. He's gonna get the plan off. He's actually gonna get the plan off. They're not doing anything about it. Oh, Fink is in a, in a big position here as well. Bro, I'm flabbergasted. I can't lie. He will swing. Can't quite kill him. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, what a shot. Oh, this is bad. Fink could win it here though. Oh, yes. I don't think Doc has time to win this. Nice. Pineapple coming in clutch at the end, bringing them match point. I think this is the first time the Silvers have had match point in the lead. Um, so we'll see if they can lock it out right here, bring it to um, map three, which would be really nice. So far, uh, they haven't been able to pick up a map. So we'll see if they can do it here on Chile. Chile is the Silvers map so far. I like the frost again. The frost worked out pretty well last time. They're picking up the lesion. Unfortunately, though, for them, they're not really running shields on attack this time. So the lesion is good, but the lesion and the orcs and the frost are really good, but they're kind of a little bit late to reacting and adapting to the shield lineup that the attackers are running before. They're not really running that anymore. So, yeah. Okay. So they're going to go downstairs. Defenses. Um, I don't know what that beeper is going to do. So just by looking at the attacker drones, you've got one, uh, two, three, three in the back. So it looks like they are probably going to do a back take. Um, they had a drone by blue, which just got shot. Yep, there goes the other one. So yeah, most of them are spawning backside. They had like two guys not. So I'm guessing they're going to try to push like blue or front. Oh, Omar is going to go straight in. Uh, this is actually going to work because no one's here. So, Mara's going in fast. See, this is what I mean. The golds get in the building instantly, bro. Look, the golds know they want to push back. They've drawn big garage. They have big garage control. They're, they already have dining control. They, they already have top control. Ash is already in as well. See how fast they take control versus the silvers? They're just... Silvers stay outside forever. Oh, he already got frostmatted. Wow, he died to that frostmat as well. That's actually huge because Osa's is only 20 HP now. So if he's trying to use that Osa shield to like walk in, they can shoot his toes and basically kill him in one bullet. That guy's already one shot. Um, you've got Amaru pushing blue. You've got Ash pushing above. And I think that was either Osa. Or no, Jackal picked up the first kill there. Enzi's one HP as well. So. What are these smoke grenades? Ooh, this could be really bad. This could be really bad. Dapper's gonna try to sneak down the backside here. They're actually opening up the walls as well. 
Oh, nice kill coming out from Legion, though. That's good. Ooh, just if he shot, he would have had another kill there. This is really bad. Ross is in a great spot to get some kills here, but Dapper walked down and got some kills in the back. They, they were not expecting Dapper to be here. Yep. Dapper just might have single-handedly won them this round right here. Let's see if NZ can clutch it out. Mm. Ooh, he's trolling a little bit. They're, they're uh, both 1 HP, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're both 1 HP. Damn, unfortunate. Well, we're going to 4-4 now. I would love to see the Silvers win this, man. I'm rooting for the Silvers on this one. Nice shot. So if we uh if we're gonna take a look at the scoreboard here, we've got the uh um what do we call it we got the uh the golds locking it out for that round. Bring it to four four. Got Keisho going nine and five. SCP going ten and five. You really need Comrade to step it up. Comrade needs to get like one kill here. Alright, let's take a look at the lineup really quickly as well. So the attack's gonna be running the double hard breacher. Uh which we see them do a lot. Oh, the defense has no anti breachers, so they'll be able to open up any wall they want for the most part. Very interesting Malusi placements. You got to think when you're placing your Malusis, like if you're actually going to be able to react off of them. Like so far, these ones, not really. Wow, this wall is completely open. Uh, I guess he was not kidding when he said wall destroyer. He's literally opening up every wall. Oh my god. I'm trying to see where the drones are from the attack. I don't know really quite what they're doing. And up with the round started, bro. And up with the round started, bro. Okay. So they're probably gonna do a library take, I guess. Phase is just not spawning here, bro. He spawns here every time and he gets like literally 40 HP taken off. Wow, this entire wall is just open. That's incredible. If the silvers lose this round, man. It's gonna be kind of embarrassing. Wow. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's Malusi that downed him. I thought it was Doc. Okay. Well, they uh, they refragged at least. The Malusi's actually downed. Gotta worry about the Doc that's here as well, though. All right, so he let me take that guy out. Solid. No way. Conker just peeked the door and smoked him. Uh, it's not looking good, man. It's not looking good. Ooh, what a shot, man. All right, just pineapple. Um, he clutched up last time, but that was just a 1v2. The call task ahead of him. He's got a 1v4. So we'll see if he can uh, pull this out or not. Wow, so he, he picks up the first kill, which is nice. Picks up the second kill, which is really good. So he's only got a 1v2. And Legion's using a pistol. This, <gasps> no way, bro. GG's. Wow. Pulling up the pistol one tap for the end there. That's incredible. So the golds are going to win. 2 0. So uh, unfortunate for the silver players. I really thought that Chalet was going to be their map. I thought for sure they were going to take it home to, uh, to a third map. But unfortunately for them, they couldn't quite pull it off. Um, how, how are you guys feeling after that one? That was hilarious. Absolutely. I'm disappointed. I feel like we should have had that game. Disappointed. I felt like the Silvers had it that game, man. I absolutely. Silvers too. almost come back from that. I feel like our yeah. defense rounds, we were just throwing our bodies. Yeah, you guys we're were dying really nothing. quickly in defense. Yeah. You guys are letting them walk in. To be fair, we just walked into society. Yeah. I should have. I should have just played smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. I mean, our attacks were pretty successful. We got wall open, bomb down. Yeah, it was it's pretty good. Yeah, I got absolutely naded there. one round. I got absolutely naded one round. Yeah, I saw that. Your your snowmobile. Yeah, by my team. Really <laughs> that was the round we won, though. I'm pretty sure. So I mean, it was. Down. Yeah. Yeah, I used Finka. One of them with Finka that clutched. Yeah, when uh, Blitz went to the bins, we had no clue you, you went in and planted. Bro, we Mark couldn't hear anything. Piss out of me, bro, when he pushed up. Alrighty. Well, uh, GG, gentlemen. Thank you all you, for playing. I appreciate sure? it. GG. Yeah, GG.